Christopher West, one of the Catholic speakers, has this profound statement to say about uh, today's reading, first reading. He says, It's not a surprise that, je- that Ephesians chapter 6 comes right after Ephesians chapter 5. Very profound, don't you think? Uh, but what he means is not that chapter 6 comes after chapter 5, but the content of what is in chapter 5 precedes what is in chapter 6. And what is in chapter 5, what we talked about on Tuesday, for those of you who remember every single homily that I've ever given, um, where we talked about a little bit of the theology of the body and how God has pointed to our bodies and shown how it reflects back the, the goodness of God in male and female and how marriage is a sign of the love between Christ and His church. Well, so today's first reading is about spiritual warfare, and uh, that is under attack today. But not just that, we are in a war. And if you don't know that, you're losing. We are at war. And it's a spiritual war. And he tells us to put on the armor of God that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For we we struggle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. He's talking about the different levels of the celestial hierarchy, lowerarchy, whatever it is that you want to say. Those demons that have fallen from grace and are now attacking us. And if you don't believe you're in a war, you're probably losing. You see, I was thinking about this this morning, with the way our country is divided right now, with, with the way we're thinking about politics and everything, especially with the election next week. You know, a lot of times, our, our, we may think of the other person, the other side, as our enemy. They're not our enemy. They're children of God, whoever they is. But the reality is, in the Christian life, there is no us and them. It's only us. But, so many of them, unfortunately, are oppressed by Satan, are misled by Satan and go down the wrong ways. And they need our prayer, not our hatred. They need our sacrifice, not our vitriol. That we are called to pray because we are in a spiritual struggle. And it honestly doesn't matter on the ultimate level who gets into the White House next week. Because Jesus is in charge. No matter who gets elected next week, we can know that we can still look to Jesus. But... Both the candidates for president and vice president and everyone in the Senate and the House of Representatives, etc., etc., they need our prayers because they are under vicious attack by the enemy. It's not against flesh and blood we're fighting, but against principalities and powers. And so St. Paul says, put on the armor of God. Truth, righteousness, readiness for the gospel of peace. Hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Most of these are about defensive, but there is offensive in the armor of God, the word of God to immerse ourselves in the scriptures. Yes, we spend time in prayer that we may have uh, the truth to be girded, uh, breastplate of righteousness and all these other things, but we also need to spend that time in the Word of God because that's what attacks the enemy in our lives. In that war that's not just out there, but also within each one of us as we struggle. This is interesting. There are times... Uh, I know people, including myself, have thought, why would Satan be even interested in me? You know, who am I? Uh, And this is the truth. You're God's son or daughter. That's why Satan hates you. 
And Satan attacks you because you're beloved to God and he hates God. And so he is attacking us. So we have to gird ourselves with the armor of God. My confessor a couple weeks ago said to me, he said, we need a good shield and we need a good sword. He said, the shield is the memorare, being protected by Mary. The sword is the St. Michael prayer, to fight against the evil one. And so, as we enter into our day, and we look at all the struggles we have, we are in a spiritual battle. We are at war. Let's take on the armor of God. Let's turn to Mary. Let's turn to St. Michael. Let's turn to the angels and saints asking for their protection, asking for them to attack the evil one so that he may not attack us. So that we may be protected. So that we may win this war, both internally and externally.